cancer diagnostic firm Keras Life Sciences is set to list on the Nasdaq today. The company actually priced its IPO at $21 a share. That was above its expected range. Joining us right now is David Dean Halbert. He is Keras Life Sciences founder, chairman, and CEO. And, and David, welcome. Thank you, Becky. Uh, let, let's talk a little bit about what your company does because right. it's uh, really interesting. AI using life sciences to try and go after, identify tumors and, and find unique ways to deal with each of those cancer tumors that are out there. How, how does it work? Well, essentially, we're really the world leader in molecular research and cancer. So what we do is we made the decision in 2018 to run every gene on every cancer patient. We have over 500,000 patients where we have every gene, DNA and mRNA, every coding gene. And so what we do is we could go and sequence that and we can say, this patient population had this outcome, this patient population had that outcome. We could put that population into the cloud and then we develop an AI and say what features are here and what features are here. And then we have a different AI we call Dean that has 218 different algorithms that go into feature selection based on a score on how well they perform and then that becomes a signature. And then that signature can diagnose, but it also can, we can go in and pull out proteins that become targets for drug manufacturers. So that, like right now we're working on uh, an early diagnostic stage one and two for breast cancer. So we can take a thousand women with breast cancer, a thousand women that don't have it, and you put it in the cloud and you get the features and you come up with a signature. A signature that would give you earlier detection to say this is cancer and you need in to the do blood. something about it. In, in the blood? In the blood. Okay, so this is, not, this is based on a blood test that you can more quickly diagnose. That's so right. We've heard of some other companies that do things like this. Um, no one does it like we do. Okay, so what's different about what you're doing? Well, we, we do every gene, DNA uh, and RNA in blood and tissue. Other people that do this use, like one company has 73 genes very small DNA panels. They don't do any RNA. Uh, like we just came out with a uh, triple negative breast cancer signature. We call them AI insights. That for 15% of the population, we triple overall survival. Hmm. So from one year to three years in that population. And in it's a 600 gene signature. And in that 600 gene, Less than half of those are on anyone else's panel. So they couldn't come up with it if they wanted to. How, how, yeah, how are you tripling the, the, you're not with the therapeutic. I don't understand what you mean you're tripling. Just earlier it. detection? We, we, we look at every, every drug in every indication. Yeah. And we have now mature population because we started doing this in 2019. Before so AI, that's right. It, it, did you just add the AI? AI no, we did our first it, AI publication in 2015. So the, it, it, was, it was before, we knew, it was before we knew it was AI, or before we called it that. Yeah, we, we used uh, Random Forest uh, was the first algorithm that we used. And so we've been using, our, our, our president has a PhD in mathematics as well as molecular cellular biology. So that's very helpful. So we've always been using AI. You're the business guy. I'm the business guy, yep. So how, how does that work, though? I mean, blood tests, how, how many people are doing this at this point? How, how does it no get one. sent in? We don't have any competition. I, we, we've had somebody on who does blood cancer tests. They do, but they don't do it. Like, they use a, a technology called methylation, and methylation is very... That's what they use. Very limited. Like Moderna. It, it, Moderna is working on mRNA for individualized immunotherapy. Right, but we're, we but, work with but them. they're detecting you things. You work with them. Yes, they're detecting do. anomalies in individual people that, that have developed tumors in, in the messenger RNA that they're looking at. What they're trying to do is get the mRNA to produce a particular peptide that will go after a cell that will stimulate your own uh, immune system. Yeah, but they've got it. other things besides. That's not, that's not what I'm, I'm talking about. Anyway. Kill it. Yeah. But you're, that's what we're working with. Uh, yeah. We're developing a way to identify in the blood early uh, pathogenic mutations and then develop an individualized immunotherapy to go after them. And if that works, we should be able to eliminate all chronic disease. So the gallery test is the one I was thinking of, the one simple blood draw that's supposed to give you... Early that, that is a so. very low-performing methylation test that their performance in breast cancer, for example, is 
So what, who, where, where does the bulk of your revenue come right now? I know your revenue was up 35% to 412 million. It's in profiling. It's, it's in, in profiling, profiling for, for individuals cancer. who are So we take a same. specific tumor biopsy, and then we run it all, and then we make a therapeutic selection, a recommendation to the oncologist based upon the black hair makeup of that. That is now moving. Basically, this would be the best treatment for, for this patient. This that's is where right. they'd get the best outcome. That's right. And that's how you get a triple outcome. So you mm -hmm. could take a population that would, uh, standard of care would be a, a, a monotherapy. Mm -hmm. And for a certain population, if they'll go with a, 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 an IO and a chemo, mm -hmm. they'll live three years instead of one year. Okay, so they, these are individual oncologists who are sending this into you? These are cancer centers? Like who, who I, I think you had 5,500 oncologists you're working we with? We have 97 members of our Precision Oncology Alliance. It includes Dana-Farber, MSK, and everybody in New York. Uh, and just about everybody in the country. And so what we do is we look at all that data, we have it in an a, in a easy to click, mouse out uh, analysis tool that allows us to publish, we just finished our thousandth publication uh, with our Precision Oncology Alliance. And then I guess future lines of business is working with pharmaceutical companies to try and develop new drugs, is that the plan? We sell them data and we also sell them targets, drug targets. Oh, to say that this looks like a target that might work best based on what we have. Right, our... because we could look at that same population like I was saying, and you could get a clustered signature, and then we can go into that signature of biological protein and pull it out, and that could be a target that a drug company might want to develop. Wow. Um, your total addressable market, you think, is potentially $150 billion eventually? Is the market that you could be addressing? It should addressing? be much, much bigger. Much bigger. But you, you, you said you are going to cure all diseases with this. Correct. Yeah, that's the hope, and it, it, it is very, looks very promising.